We're interrupting this commercial break on the O'Reilly Factor to bring you the sad news just into the Fox newsroom. A publicist for Patrick Swayze says that the actor has died of pancreatic cancer. He was diagnosed in January of 2008. He's been undergoing chemotherapy and other treatments at the Stanford University Medical Center. He was born on August 18, 1952 in Houston, Texas. And according to a publicist, he died today. Our entertainment correspondent, Jill Dobson, is live with us now. Jill, it was a very painful last few months. Yes, Shepard, it certainly was. We've been covering him for quite some time, battling pancreatic cancer. When the news first broke that he had pancreatic cancer, we were told he only had five months to live. That was a couple of years ago. He fought a hard battle. In fact, earlier this year, around January, he gave an interview to Barbara Walters, gave a special in which he said that he was going to keep on living, but that the pain was debilitating at times, that he would be in the bathroom just screaming in pain while his wife, Lisa, looked on trying to figure out a way to help him out, but unable to really do anything to help him. And it's been a battle that he fought through. Despite that, he was on the A&E Network series, The Beast, kept on shooting. He said he never held up production and was able to keep working on that series through one entire season last fall. But at this time, we're hearing this unfortunate news about him, and it's something that has a lot of his fans very upset tonight after hearing about his battle for quite some time. A lot of his fans probably know him from movies, Ghost and Dirty Down Dancing and Roadhouse. He was this, voted the sexiest man alive by People magazine in 1991, but there's been a lot more to his career. He started off as a ballet dancer, was a gymnast. He's gone through so many reincarnations throughout his, long, throughout his life. He really has, and that dance background served him very well throughout his career, and in fact, it, it impacted his personal life in a very huge way as well. His mother was a dance teacher, and in his mother's dance studio, he met his wife, who he ended up being married to for a very long time, Lisa Nimai. He met her when she was just a teenager, and he was about 20 years old, and they had a, a beautiful marriage together. They were always very close. They said they never had children but they always had each other and had a marriage that a lot of people look to as an inspiration they even did a film together about dance in which they danced together celebrating both their love for dance and their love for each other jill dobson live with us on the phone jill thanks very much patrick swayze said at one point as he was going through this awful ordeal i'm going through hell and i have only seen the beginning of it and then later i'm scared i'm angry I'm asking why me? I am all of this stuff. A future with a long and healthy life not lived in the shadow of cancer. Patrick Swayze died today, according to his publicist. I'm Shepard Smith in New York. The O'Reilly Factor continues now.